I think something that still a lot of people out there don't quite appreciate is that Tesla, which I've always said like Tesla is as much a software company as a hardware company, but, but Tesla is really um, one of the world's leading AI companies. This is uh, kind of a big deal, Not, both AI on the software side and on the hardware side. You know, with, with the, the Hardware 3 uh, inference computer, still, still the most efficient inference computer in the, in the world, despite you know, being at this point uh, five years old from the design point. Um, and with Hardware 4 coming and then Hardware 5 beyond that, with where there are significant leaps. Um, and uh, the Dojo uh, computer, we expect to um, be using that operationally at, at Tesla later this year. Um, so, uh, and, and we're, we're seeing just a, a lot of world-class AI talent join the company. Um, there's also the, the long-term potential of Optimus, where we're, we're able to um, use our expertise in uh, uh, electric motors and uh, uh, power electronics, batteries, um, and, and advanced manufacturing to be able to make a, a humanoid robot that is actually useful and can be made at high volume with uh, with exceptional capabilities because of the uh, autopilot AI that you know where, where we take the because the the car is like a robot on four wheels and the Optimus is a robot on legs, but the uh, as we get closer and closer to solving real world AI. And we don't see anyone even close to us in, in, in achieving this. Um, you know, the, 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 the value, I, it's, I, I think you, I think you appreciate this and, and a few others do, but um, most uh, don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, but it, it's, it's, th this, this is the, the thing that, you know, has order of magnitude potential um, market cap uh, improvement for, te for Tesla. I like to ask this question about the AI elements of your business and um, ask if you could comment on progress around uh, Dojo and um, Optimus and your anticipation for the likelihood, for example, for uh, for the company to disconnect the GPU cluster in favor of Dojo and to have some market achievement in Optimus? Yeah, I mean, obviously, with, since we're still at the early stages, there are big error bars in any any predictions. Um, so, it's, you know, it's, it's like easy, I think, easy to predict the long term, but uh, hard to predict the time in between now and then. Um, uh, but it's what we think uh, Dojo will be competitive with um, the NVIDIA H1 at the end of this year, and then hopefully uh, surpass it next year. Um, and um, the, the key there is, is like, I think, I think the, is, is what's, what's the energy usage required for a given amount of, for, for, for if you're training um, you know, a frame of video, um, how, uh, how you know what's the what's the energy cost required to do that training? Um, and it, we we think probably we, we and we we said this already actually at I AI day two, so it's not new information. But we do see um, potential for an order of magnitude improvement uh, relative to GPU um, what what GPUs can do for Dojo, which is obviously very specialized for um, AI training. Or it's a hyper specialized for AI training. So it's not used, it's not wouldn't be great for other things, but we, it should be extremely good for AI training. So just just like if you do an ASIC for something, it's going to be better than a CPU. Um, you, you know, this is sort of uh, in some ways like a, like a giant ASIC, um, and um, and we're able to um, it, since we're operating one of the biggest GPU clusters in the world already, um, the you know, we've got a good sense of how efficient uh, the GPU clusters operate and what Dojo needs to do in order to be competitive. Um, but we think 
that it does have a, a fundamental architectural advantage because because it's designed not not to be a, you know the GPU is trying to do many many things for many people. Um, they're trying to do uh, graphics, uh, video games. Uh, it's you know um, doing crypto mining. Uh, it's, uh, it's doing a lot of things. Um, we're just doing one thing, and that is uh, training. Um, and we're also optimizing the low-level software to, so that it, it, at a very sort of bare metal level. Um, so it's just in, insanely good at uh, efficient training. Um, and the intercommunication between the uh, do dojo mod modules is extremely high. Um, it's not, you're not going across an Ethernet cable. It's like, so anyway, the, the you know, this we see a path to an order of magnitude improvement uh, in the energy efficiency for for um, given unit of training. Um, but we also have to achieve that, and, and so that when will it be achieved? It's hard to say, but uh, we, we do see a path to to get there. And, and then also an inference, like once you've got the, something trained, um, well, if you want to have a product, um, that's, that's a, a consequence of that training. And that product may not be anything to do with cars. Uh, then uh, the efficiency of inference is extremely important. And we, so we, we also have by far the most efficient inference computer in, uh, the, with the um, FSD computer in the car. You know, this has potential for products that links it aren't, aren't even really in, in automotive. <laughs>